Serbia has made a bold statement on the future of its military capabilities by unveiling the upgraded M84 AS3 tank at the Strength of Unity Parade, an event staged to commemorate the Day of Serbian Unity, Freedom and the National Flag. While at first glance this might appear to be just another technical update of an older Soviet-derived platform, the debut of the M84 AS3 carries much wider significance for Serbia's defense strategy, its geopolitical positioning, and its long-term ambitions to modernize its armed forces while balancing a diverse set of international partnerships. The M84 itself has a long history. Originally a Yugoslav development based on the Soviet T-72, it became one of the backbone armored vehicles of the Yugoslav People's Army and later the successor states that emerged after the country's breakup. Over the years, numerous upgrades attempted to keep the design relevant, but technological advancements in armor protection, targeting systems, and active defense mechanisms left many M84s outdated when compared to the latest Russian, Western, or even Asian main battle tanks. The new M84 AS3 represents a decisive attempt by Serbia to close this technological gap and to ensure that its armored forces remain competitive on modern battlefields. At the heart of the modernization lies a combination of domestic innovation and selective integration of foreign technologies. The M84 AS3 is equipped with an advanced fire control system, which gives the crew far greater accuracy and faster target acquisition compared to previous versions. Equally significant is the addition of laser and radar warning receivers, providing crews with real-time awareness of threats. Perhaps most notable is the inclusion of a soft-kill active protection system designed to disrupt or defeat incoming guided missiles before they reach the tank. This development brings the M84 AS3 into line with the most modern armored warfare trends, where survivability is no longer solely a matter of passive armor thickness but also of electronic countermeasures and smart defensive systems. Physically, the tank demonstrates a robust rethinking of its armor layout. The frontal arc has received reinforced protection layers, while cage armor has been added to shield the turret and rear hull against rocket-propelled grenades and other anti-tank weapons. Combined with the upgraded internal systems, these changes provide a tangible leap in battlefield survivability. The addition of a remotely controlled 12.7mm weapon station further increases versatility by allowing the crew to engage threats without exposing themselves. Serbian officials have not hesitated to compare the new model with Russia's T-90M, suggesting that Belgrade now has a platform that can credibly compete with one of the most advanced derivatives of the T-72 lineage. But the importance of the M-84 AS-3 extends far beyond the technical realm. For Serbia, this modernization program highlights a carefully calibrated strategy, to extend the service life of its existing armored fleet while reducing reliance on imports and building up local defense industrial autonomy. Developing indigenous upgrades is not merely a matter of cost-effectiveness, it sends a message that Serbia intends to chart its own path in defense innovation. This is particularly meaningful given the geopolitical constraints Belgrade faces, especially the Western sanctions on Russia that complicate any large-scale acquisition of Russian equipment. Instead, Serbia has pursued a pragmatic policy of diversification, engaging with a wide range of defense partners from France and Israel to China and Russia itself. Each relationship serves a different purpose, some bring advanced technology, others open political or industrial opportunities. The M84 AS3 encapsulates this approach by combining Soviet-era design heritage with contemporary domestic solutions, producing a hybrid platform that reflects Serbia's broader balancing act between East and West. The political symbolism of unveiling the tank during the Day of Serbian Unity cannot be overlooked. This holiday, which celebrates national cohesion and identity, provided an ideal backdrop for Serbia to showcase its military advancements.
By presenting the M-84AS-3 alongside other armored vehicles and electronic warfare systems, the government underscored its commitment not only to national defense but also to projecting strength and self-reliance. The parade served as a demonstration that Serbia is determined to modernize on its own terms, sending signals both to domestic audiences and to international observers. Another dimension to consider is Serbia's position within the European security landscape. Belgrade continues to pursue closer ties with the European Union while maintaining pragmatic defense cooperation with Russia and China. This dual orientation sometimes raises eyebrows in Western capitals, but the M-84AS-3 project illustrates why Serbia sees value in such an approach. By developing a capable main battle tank domestically, the country avoids overdependence on any single external supplier, giving it more freedom to maneuver diplomatically. In practice, this flexibility means that Serbia can accept assistance and technology transfers from different sources while demonstrating to potential partners that it is not entirely reliant on them. From a military perspective, the M84AS3 reflects the reality that Serbia like many medium-sized powers, must operate within budgetary and technological limits. Acquiring entirely new fleets of Western or Russian main battle tanks would be prohibitively expensive and politically complicated. By contrast, upgrading the existing M84s provides a cost-effective solution that maximizes existing assets while achieving performance gains sufficient for regional defense needs. This pragmatic strategy ensures that Serbia retains a credible armored capability without overstretching financially or politically. The M-84S3's debut also raises broader questions about the future of armored warfare in the Balkans. Neighboring countries have pursued their own modernization paths, some acquiring NATO standard equipment, others relying on legacy Soviet platforms with varying degrees of upgrades. By fielding a modernized M84 variant comparable to the T-90M, Serbia positions itself as a regional leader in armored technology. This could influence the military balance in the Western Balkans and may spur other states to accelerate their own modernization efforts. Beyond regional competition, the M84AS3 demonstrates how smaller nations can leverage local innovation to extend the relevance of legacy equipment. In an era where new generation tanks like the German Leopard 2A8 or South Korea's K2 Black Panther dominate headlines, the Serbian approach illustrates an alternative model, modernize intelligently, integrate domestic solutions, and achieve near-peer capabilities without entirely new procurement. This philosophy may find resonance among other countries with large inventories of Soviet-era platforms that are too costly to replace but too important to ignore. Ultimately, the unveiling of the M-84AS-3 is not merely about one tank. It is a statement about Serbia's military ambitions, its defense industrial capacity, and its strategic balancing act in a complex international environment. The tank is both a practical tool for the Serbian army and a symbol of national resilience and independence. For Belgrade, it represents the convergence of technical necessity and political strategy, proving that even older platforms can be transformed into modern battlefield assets through thoughtful modernization. As Serbia moves forward, the success of the M-84AS-3 program will likely shape further defense initiatives. If the tank proves effective in service, it could pave the way for additional upgrades of other legacy systems, further strengthening Serbia's autonomy in military matters. Whether or not it truly matches the capabilities of the Russian T-90M, the mere fact that Serbia can field such an advanced upgrade underscores its determination to remain a credible military actor in the region. In doing so, Serbia has sent a clear signal, its armed forces are not standing still, and its path toward defense modernization will be pursued on its own terms, with a careful balance between tradition, innovation, and strategic independence.